Hey everybody, welcome to the 2 a.m. pipe on the patio. Tonight I'm smoking a, uh, it's like a little basket pipe that I was given. Uh, Some uh, we have this little thing here on Facebook. It's called Buy Nothing, and then like Spring Valley, wherever you live, you, there's probably a Buy Nothing Seattle or Buy Nothing, whatever little area you live in. Uh, I live in Spring Valley, and so there's a Buy Nothing Spring Valley, and <clears throat> and I posted on there that I was looking for pipes, and somebody posted that they had this pipe, so I I went and picked it up, and it's you pay nothing on this place. You know, people will post that they're looking for clothes or for their kids or furniture or whatever they're looking for, and nobody charges anything on there. So if they have it, they offer it for free. So this person had this pipe. So um, I went and picked it up, and uh, it's a no-name basket pipe made in France. Uh, and when I got it, it smelled like they had potpourri in it. I think it was raspberry tobacco or something was what it was, but it smelled like potpourri. It still had the tobacco in it. I got it about probably three four weeks ago and I haven't smoked it. It's a nice, very nice looking pipe. It really is a nice looking pipe. Um, so I can get some light on here and see if you can... It's a nice, pretty nice looking pipe, man. Nothing wrong with it. Haven't smoked it yet. So I did a cleaning on it and I, I did the... Uh, did a salt treatment on it because it was heavily, it was heavily uh, ghosted. And it is still heavily ghosted. <laughs> so I'm smoking right now, I'm smoking some uh, sugar barrel match. And it's still raspberry, I can still taste raspberry in it. So it'll, de it'll need another couple of treatments, I think. But, uh, I'll deal with it for now. This may wind up being my aromatic pipe. So, there's a pretty little pipe. And for nothing, I cannot complain. So, and I do enjoy Sugar Barrel. I do enjoy that tobacco. Um, another one Smurfinelli shared with me. Thank you, Smurfinelli. One of my pipe club brothers. Um, so it's a good night sitting out here. Just finished dinner. And it was delicious. It was a good one. Boy, was that good. Mama loved it. So I told Mama once we get back on our feet financially, I'm going to do a couple of tri-tips, take them up to the pipe club. So that'll be a ways off, but it will happen eventually. I like this little pipe, man. It's a good little pipe. It's pretty. This may be my Colt Blood Red Moon pipe. I 
Got a couple of tins in that in my cellar. I need to break one of those out and open it up. I don't have any of that open yet. I mean, any more. So. My nephew gave me a couple of tins of that for Christmas and it's been sitting in my my cellar. Because I had a jar of it in my cellar and a, and an open tin in my cellar. And I think I gave a, some of that, to, most of that to Smurfinelli. And it's been a while since I tried it, so I need to... So I've had any, so I need to get that back open because I love that stuff. But I've been so into the Englishes. And the Burleys. And I haven't been smoking much aromatics lately. But I'm enjoying this um, sugar barrels match. Hey, Blue, want to come outside? Come on out, boy. He's sitting up on the couch, all kingly. <laughs> Actually, a really nice smoking little pipe here, man. And it ain't even broke in. I mean, it it hasn't been smoked much at all. So my uh, my collection of pipes has become almost exclusively Savinelli's here. So. And, uh, I, you know, I have a few that aren't Savinelli's, but I have a GBD and got a olive wood pipe and a Meerschaum and I'm trying to think of what else I have in there that's not a Savinelli. Oh, I got a a uh, tinder box. And a BC that my wife, my first pipe that my wife gave me. Can't forget that one. I know I got a couple more in there too. The vast majority of my pipes are Savinelli's. And that just kind of happened. It wasn't like I had planned that. You know, I got that first... That I had a, a really nice Savinelli that I gave away to uh, Cal Delta Piper. And then I got that first 320, and things just kind of exploded, and it just I just became Savinelli Central here. I don't know, but I'm okay with it. I love them. Oh, and I have a uh, Magic Carry Magic Inch. That was the other one I have in there. It's 
funny how that happens. I had every intention of starting collecting Petersons at one point. And um, I had two Peterson 999s. And I also had a uh, custom built. And I traded the custom built to uh, Eric the Blue Collar Piper since he collects those. And he sent me a, a Rossi 320 and a couple other pipes along with it. funny the the paths we go on with pipes it's an interesting journey it leads us down the path to where we we wind up being An impressive little basket pipe, man. I'm just... Nice little smoker. Happy with it. And of course, I have several Meershams. I mean, uh, Missouri Meershams. And my number one smoking pipe, the one I love the most, is my... Um, my Briar Dude pipe that he made for me, my Labrayer pipe. That pipe's something else, man. I haven't done a video with that one in a while. Usually I come out and I'm usually, usually that pipe when I'm smoking that one, I'm in a real contemplative mood and I, I don't do videos with that one much. It's just, that's a sitting pipe and I don't do a lot of talking when I'm smoking that pipe. That's a, that's a sitting down and talking to Jesus pipe, that one is, you know. Or sitting and just thinking about life. I love that pipe. Boy, I love that pipe. I have several pipes that I... I can't ever see myself getting rid of that pipe. They'd have to pry them out of my cold, dead hands to get that one away from me. And that's a... That's a pine box pipe. That's one that the only way they'll ever get that out of me is when they put me in, in a pine box, lower me down into the grave, and even then that one probably goes with me. What's your pine box pipe? You know, what's the one pipe you have that they'd have to 
you know, pry out of your cold, dead hands to get it away from you. Mine would be the Briar Dude pipe. Far and away. In fact, I need to get a a nice variable speed buffer buffer wheel so I can you know buff my pipes up especially for that one I need to get that one just to keep it buffed up nice man cuz that's my show pipe yeah That's the one I keep out on my desk at all times in a in a stand. So I'd like to hear from you guys. What's your favorite? Your number one pipe. What's the one pipe that they just no one could ever get away from you? You know, I know that you guys. Everybody's got several pipes, but you know, my Oceano is another one. My Venezia, my 320 Venezia is another one. Uh, my 320 Oceano. Um, my my 101, my 7 l 101 is another one that, that's the 101, doi, that's the 101, 7 l 101, this 814, 7 l 814 is another one that I, I really love. But, uh, that Briar Dude pipe. That one's special. That one's really special to me. But I'd like to hear you guys. I'd like to hear what your your uh, your pine box pipe, as I call it, one that only way anybody could get that out of your hands for good was when they're putting you in a pine box and lowering you in the ground. So, so, but that's. Uh, That's what this one's been about here, so anyway, this one went a little longer than I normally like to do, but uh, I got, got on a roll on this one, so I will talk to you guys later. God bless each and every one of you guys. Um, I hope you know how much y'all mean to me, and uh, I will talk to you later. God bless you, and have a good week.